being better. It's about being healthier, being stronger, being able to endure whatever you're out in the field. It's about making yourself better. Our legacy is the next generation. We can do all we want in this world, but if we don't pass it on the next generation, the not only the wood, our passion of money, but the love of fitness. There's two simple questions. Did it go from the ground? And did it, did it have a mother? Did it, did it walk around? Did it walk? Now, what if you didn't get experience? Think about how you would be different or how just your kid would be different. And so, today's topic is from taking from the field of the freezer, but really, I want to talk about how we can prepare ourselves, not just the meat. And then one day when I'm sitting in the deer stand, and how it always occurs, when you're sitting in the deer stand, you're sitting in the turkey wood, you're sitting out there, you're sitting on the boat, it's kind of like your ears are open to God all of a sudden, and you can hear a little bit more. And that night, he cleaned deer, he cleaned fish, he gave it to my dad, he's done the same, he's now now wear it on my hip if I'm ever in the woods, if I'm ever hunting, it's on my hip. Because I'm cleaning deer and I'm cleaning fish with it too. You see that scrap piece of trash metal turned into a weapon that has a purpose. And it can be the same for us. I realize that I'm really just a useless scrap piece of nothing in this world without God. But when I let God come in, when I allow God to mold me and make me and to forge me in the fire, He can turn me into a weapon. And then He can use me as a weapon for whatever He needs. A lot of times, we, we want to dictate where we want to go. Well, God, I, I'm going to do this with my life, or I'm going to do that with my life. But when we actually turn it over to God, and, and as men, I can speak to you and I can tell you that, that if you can if you can allow God to come into your life, if you can allow God to work on it, because we want to fix things. I want to fix it, I want to make it right, right now. But God, allowing God in. That takes a little. That takes a little work. It takes a little submissiveness. It takes us being patient. Because the difference between the God between God and the devil, a lot of times, is God will only take control when you let Him. The devil will take control any chance He can get. So God is waiting for you to say, "Hey, I'm done figuring it out on my own. Go for it." Mold me and make me how you need. While the devil 